Hello. So in this video, we are going to discuss an interesting concept that Drupal uses or you will come across a keyword called as node. So what exactly is a node? You can read about the node and its description in Drupal's website, but I'll try to explain it in a simpler manner. I'm not saying that it's not simple over there. So what we know is that if you compare a content management system with other kind of websites or old websites where the whole page was one single entity or one single unit or like when you create some kind of document in a word processing tool or something everything is a single unit when you save it as a file it's a single unit fine so your header title content links and everything is placed into one file and packed as a unit but when we talk about content management systems so to make content management systems efficient and reuse the data or display it in a different manner we cannot store it as a single unit what i mean by single unit is let's try to understand let us say we created pages and articles so this is an article which we created over here about media wiki which has an image the title and all so now generally when someone comes to visit a page sees a page fine so it's just a page for the person fine where basic interest is the title and the content and this but when we are working with a content management system the cms looks at your content or the data which you are storing in a very different manner so if we look at this particular page here it is not just about this image this title and this content it is basically associated with something like who created this page when it was created the time if there are any revisions fine then if we break up this page there is an image there is a title there is the actual content if we created a, a what do we call it uh, the summary the summary could be there then we in an article we noticed that we could associate tags with it so this is also a part of this particular page that there are tags then this page can be associated with comments though comments are not considered as a part of node fine then some other options are there fine apart from that there is something like we had created this let's just go to the edit part and have a look at it so when a content management system stores a content from things like page or article which are referred as content types which i will discuss later on so everything is not stored as a single unit the title is stored into the database somewhere in some table the image and other things are usually not stored in the database they are directly put on our web space or uh, some directory but yes it is linked to this that this thing is associated with my page then there is body and as i said if there is summary you added summary it will be there so here if we start counting we have one two three four fine then there is some text formatting options the tags whether it is published or not then over here revisions are created what is the menu setting if you have set up a provider menu link setting fine let us say we will add this and let it be in main navigation comment settings whether they are open or closed then url alias which we created this will be stored authoring information when it was and whether it is promoted to front page and all so many others. so if you see there there are many other things apart from just what you see as the output now drupal treats everything as node if you notice when we save this page it is assigned with a unique number called as the node number this is the identification of this page so whenever all this content which is there this is stored into our database so for understanding here i have opened the drupal database there are 70 80 tables over here based on whatever you have done around 74 tables 73 74 tables are created initially but here if you see the node related information that what are the nodes are created node id 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 these many nodes are there the type of node that information is first of all stored over here fine there is a, whenever you create a node that it is node 10 it is type of article now with this it comes to know something a unique id is also given to that 
then the body content of that particular thing which we created node id if you see 10 it is about media wiki fine similarly the comments field images fine here there is an image alert icon warning icon whatever we had added those are asso those associations are mentioned over here then field tags any association is men mentioned over here tags are ma managed separately but the point what i'm trying to say is when we have our content which is something like an article or basic page or something everything is kept broken up into a database and with this node number drupal identifies what you are looking for and when you call a particular page via a url alias so the system will first take the url alias then associate it with the node there is another table where this association is maintained fine and then based on the node number it will come to know that it's an article based on that article and other information it will fetch what is to be displayed to the user this image this title if summary is there body is there and so on and it will display in a standard format or the format of the article which is there fine now that way it collects and shows you this information and this collection of information is referred as a node one has to keep in mind the con comments are managed separately so if you are viewing a page fine even though the comments show up over here as a part of it comments is managed separately and since we have discussed about this in extend section there is a module called as node this is the internal module node module which is responsible for all these things how to manage a node but the idea is when we say a node it means it is a number given to a set of different different things which finally makes either your page article or something new which you have created as we will see later on and then finally it displays it with a particular methodology which is defined now why to do this as a node now when we use drupal once these things are kept separately into the database that's the idea behind having something in a database once it is in a database and things are kept separately i could use something simply called as views which we'll see later on and i could tell drupal or i could ask drupal to fetch all the titles of a specific type let's say if there are 50 users on my website and all of them are uh, publishing articles i could fetch all the articles from a specific person i could display all the articles associated with a particular tag which drupal does automatically for you also but you can also do these things via one of the simplest methods that is there is views i'm calling it simple it's a very powerful mechanism that is available with drupal but if your data is not segregated or separated like this in a tabular manner uh, then you will not be able to actually manage your content or utilize the content in a proper manner so as we keep on learning uh, drupal will be creating new structures like uh, the article page basic page or some structures specific for our usage and those structures will be used only as a entry point of data how to display data is going to be in a different manner it's not going to be in this standard manner these two formats as i have mentioned earlier also are actually meant for basic starting and understanding we are expected to modify these or create new structures which we refer as content types to accept data like for example if you plan to use drupal to create an e-commerce website then you will be having different categories for taking input for very very different kind of things let's say for example one of the sections is mobile phones so under mobile phones whenever you are accepting information about mobile phone it will be the company name operating system then the ram size uh, the storage space the screen size type of screen the technologies 4g 5g etc what it supports how many sim it supports and whatever these features are we will have to take them from the user individually and drupal will create this structure automatically in our database in the backend 
and later on we can use views or some other mechanism to fetch this information and show it to the user like someone wants to compare five mobiles we should be able to do that but until unless the node concept is used and node system manages our data separately we will not be able to do that and this is one of the points where power of drupal lies so if you want to have be a power user in drupal you should un have a clear understanding of this node concept as well as in structure what are content types which we will be discussing later on how to create new content types and how to show this data to user in a different format or user required format sorted form or other form and so on so many other options are there so that's a basic concept about node and why the term node is used so now one of the interesting things uh, someone asked me he, if you are hosting a website uh, then uh, is there any kind of uh, mechanism for your website to create short urls so we really don't need to create short urls you can simply the shortest url for any of the page or content on your website is going to be node slash node number that directly works as a shortcut url you really don't need to use tiny url or some other mechanism to shorten the url you can directly give the node number so that's an interesting another interesting aspect about node and that's the overview of node further we will discuss later